today's video, we want to determine if there will be a big move in Bitcoin coming up in the next few days or weeks. Let's have a look at that in today's video. If you are new to the channel, thanks for joining us. My name is Jason Pizzino and you can subscribe to the channel. And if you're a returning viewer, be sure to hit the bell notification icon and the subscribe button so that you see these videos come out uh, as some of them are time sensitive and we don't want you to miss out on those videos. This is your home of Nopium. Maybe some of the thumbnails and titles are going to have the hopium in it, the big urgent calls in them. But at the end of the day, we want to clear that BS noise out of the market and just look at it for what it is. So this is the warning now. This might not get your emotions running hot and heavy, but hopefully you're going to make some money rather than have your emotions driven wild. Leave that for the bedroom or Tinder. Let's take a look. What we're going to do next is mention a few things here. Scammers, comment section. I'll never give you my WhatsApp, Telegram or email address in the comment section. They're using my face, they're using my name. Skip those things, all right? You can report them if you like, otherwise don't waste your time. Skip over them. All the details you'll need are in the description. That includes the TradingView link, which is a software that I use to uh, do my charting on. Uh, I've been doing technical analysis for over 10 years. I started trading back in 2010. Moving on from that, new trading course for long-term investors coming out this month. So if you want to register for that, jump onto my website and leave your email address. I've got a massive discount for the first 100 guys who subscribe and buy the course. Uh, that's pretty much it for the, the notes. Let's move on to what we're gonna do here. We're gonna review the macro Bitcoin chart, micro, the delusional Bitcoin chart, bad chart patterns circulating on YouTube, uh, good chart patterns to watch, the hype. How does that work, really? And the nopium, this is your home of nopium, no hopium. Keep a clear head and massive gains. That's all I'm about. I guess I came up to this because I do enjoy the videos and I don't hate on the guys who are doing that. I mean, don't hate the player, hate the game. If there wasn't the game there for him to be making hopium videos, then no one would be making them. But people get off on it and they want their emotions running high because they're putting money into the market and they want to cheer this stuff on like it's a, a, a betting horse. This isn't how the whales play the game. And if you want to make gains, then you got to have a plan to remove those emotions from the market. It's what I teach in the course. It's a lot about psychology, trader uh, psychology and mindset, but you need to have your mindset in check. To have a quick look at the previous videos I have gone on with Bitcoin. So if you want to keep up with that, definitely subscribe to the channel. Bitcoin crash cycles, that's an important one to watch. So after this, go and check that one out because we are looking at where the cycles occur. That's uh, time, dates and cycles. So check that one out there. Quick look at the market cap before we get into the charts. Bitcoin, uh, nearly 36,000. Market cap, 670 billion. And the total is at 1 trillion, 13 billion, etc. This is trading view if you guys want to get that. Uh, Wi-Fi was a coin I was just looking at and purchasing. So that's why it's up there on the screen. Next is the crypto fear and greed index at 79. So the volatility is dropping in Bitcoin. Now, let's take a look at the chart and I'll reduce my face to the bottom corner. So here we are at the chart. Now, like I said here, we are starting at the macro. That's how we should always begin our day. Let's look at the macro. What is going on to give us a clear picture? Do not start with the minute chart, the 15 minute chart, the hourly chart, all right? Let me know in the comments if you do do that. We'll have a laugh together and then move on from there. Weekly charts, macro views will give us macro moves. Micro views will give us micro moves. What are you playing with? That's what I've got down here. What time are you investing or trading on? What position are you looking to invest out of your total portfolio? What is our exit target? What will be our re-entry signal if we're wrong? We can always be wrong because this is just based on probabilities. Nothing is 100%. We just want to stack the odds in our favor. And if you're on the 15 minute chart or the hourly charts looking at head and shoulder patterns, you will get screwed. You'll get screwed out of your Bitcoin and then you'll have to find another re-entry point. So if you don't know how to find re-entry points, then you're like triply screwed. All right, what's happening on the weekly chart? Nothing, nothing is happening. That's why the Hopium videos have to come out because otherwise there's nothing to be made on a daily or twice daily basis. 
if there's no news, then all we got to do is get into the hourly chart and say, whoa, there's a hell of a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, look at that head and shoulders pattern going on. Uh, look at this descending triangle that could screw us up. There's a falling wedge. Actually, it's not even a descending triangle. I saw a descending triangle. I'm like so off with that. If you're starting out, then you got to do what you got to do with the information that you got. You know, I'm not always correct either. So that's just another reason for me to stay humble. I can always be wrong. But what I see here is more of a falling wedge, which is a bullish signal. But overall, this is only on an hourly chart. So that's a micro view. Maybe we get a bullish move in, in the micro sense. We get several hours up, a dozen hours up, gets us back to 38K. Like who cares about 38 or nearly 36 to 38K? It's barely worth getting out of bed for in a market that moves hundreds, if not thousands of percent. So what have I got here? I've got two pink lines. Basically, we're in a wedge. And if I bring this back to our macro view, so I've got an hourly, uh, sorry, a weekly and a three day chart is our macro view, my macro view, when we're in a bull market. There's nothing going on here, absolutely nothing. Market is range bound, it's trading sideways, volatility is dropping, which leads us to believe that altcoins could be pumping. And I just did a video on altcoins for the channel. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out after this. Really, the, the news is so quiet. I will mention that we have a swing. We've got a little swing down here. And for guys who are asking what the hell are swing charts, they are going to save you when it comes to knowing how to set your stops. A swing is put into a chart when you have a lower low from the previous bar in an uptrend. And uh, uh, another swing, an upswing, is basically you have a higher high than the previous high. So we can see there's a low here and there's another low. You come up from the low, draw, down, up, down. This is how to set stops. So that's sort of an important thing to understand and it takes a long time to really grasp how to draw swings. Now, if we break these lows, that's not a great sign, but it's not the end of the bull market. We have seen lows on larger time frames break in the previous bull market. So if we go back to 2017, then we did see three day swing bottoms break. But as we continued with the trend into the top, it became less and less. And so three day swings stopped breaking from this low in September. And so we had a clear three months of no swing low on the three day being broken. There you go, 93 days. The next thing to do from this point was then to look at the one day chart to see if we can bring our stops a little bit closer as the market became more and more parabolic. Not to get too ahead of ourselves, what's going on here? Nothing. I'm sorry to, to bring that to you if you want some emotions running hot. Of course, step it back down to a, a four hour chart. And if you still don't have any emotions running hot here and you need something to keep up to date with, drop it back to an hour or 30 minutes. Obviously, I don't recommend that because that will screw you out of a position. All we're waiting for here is for the market to decide what it wants to do. It needs to break out of this pattern. We could keep going for a number of days now. This could get us into the 23rd. Today's the 18th. Usually the patterns are in these sort of triangles at the top of markets, they, they come out to about 70% of the pattern itself. So there's the triangle and they can last up to about 70% on average before they make a move. But we have seen with crypto that they can continue all the way to the apex of the triangle. Then we might get a fake out move down and away we go again. We don't know yet. And the point is we shouldn't assume just trying to figure out different patterns and seeing what's going to happen, especially when we're in a, a macro uh, sideways pattern. That's going to be the worst for us because we're going to be looking at things on a too short of a time frame, and it can ruin us out of our positions. I think I've said that multiple times throughout this video. So that was more of a, a Bitcoin update. From this point forward, that's it. Waiting to see what happens from this triangle. And as we step out, you can really see that it's getting nice and close to that point there, just depending on where we like to draw the lines. So we'll keep an eye on all of them because it's yet to be seen which ones are actually working too well. And then just follow the market from there. I'm gonna keep doing updates on this chart itself, Bitcoin of course, because that is our God market of cryptocurrency. If you wanna continue around with this, hit us in the subscribe bell notification icon and like the video if you found some value from it. Let me know who is your favorite hopium dealer out in the cryptocurrency space. They are interesting and enjoyable videos to watch because at the end of the day, we're using our money and it's a psychological thing that we want to have some sort of emotional connection with it as much as we know we shouldn't be when it comes to trading. 
a lot of these things are like, hey, I feel this is gonna happen and I wanna feel something when I pull the cash out of my pocket, when I transfer the money into a market. We buy on feelings and if we don't have the feelings for it, then we're probably not gonna buy. So it's a psychological game. We don't wanna have the feelings when it comes to investing. We want to be basing our decisions on data and maths and back testing and facts that have happened in the past. I'll leave you with that moving forward. As I said, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, share the video with someone who you may think needs to hear the nopium over the hopium. At the end of the day, we all wanna make some great money through this bull market and listening to nonsense, probably gonna get screwed out of it. Anyway, that's me done for today's video. I'll catch you guys at the next one. Until then, have more fun to get more done.